as every DIY expert will tell you, a bad workman blames his tools. And an even worse one blames the nail. Well now, there's no excuse. Whether you're using a masonry, wood, flathead or countersunk, have you ever wondered how they make millions of these tough little pins to exact dimensions? Just about all nails start out their journey in the same way. Most are made from highly durable carbon steel, which originates in steel wire form. Rolled up on a drum, this wire weighs in at over 2,000 kilos. The wire's diameter is 6 millimeters, which is too large, so a stretching process reduces the steel's width. Using many drums, the wire is pulled repeatedly to gradually thin it. It's then rolled onto a drum. When full, this roll contains over 23,000 meters of wire weighing in at 1,136 kilos. The wire is now a diameter of 2.84 millimeters, so will have to be reduced by half again. It's now cut into small rods. The cut rods are gathered up with this electromagnet and dumped into a machine that will process them. Now comes the important bit. The rods are turned into nails by a blade that forms the nail's point. This machine forms nail heads by flattening them using great pressure on the rod ends. Nail heads are formed at a rate of 1,400 per minute. The manufacturing of the nails is now finished. Next comes the packaging. These nails are sold embedded in plastic rolls. This machine inserts 167 nails into each roll. The plastic strip has teeth and the nails hook into these. Making spiral nails requires an extra processing step. This machine puts the spiral into the nails with these cylinders and produces 1,200 nails a minute. Then the nails are put together into strips for use in pneumatic nailing guns. To keep them in place, the nails are coated with a resin that dries in four minutes. This is the nailing device that uses nails on a strip. It strikes the nails with just the pull of a trigger. This factory also produces staples. The staple press binds 80 iron wires which have been lined up and placed side by side. The wires are then glued together. The wires then come out in one adhered strip. The staple strips are fed into this machine, which cuts the staples to the desired length and folds them in one stroke of this press, applying 40 tons of pressure. Staples are formed on this gauge and the staple strips are then ready for packaging. Every day, this factory produces a total of 25 million nails and staples. <laughs>